Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Hello everyone, Tom Dudman here, and I'd like to welcome you to another Nuclear News Segment. Today, I will be reporting on the newly announced Skate 4. So in my latest video, it shows that 91.6% of you are not subscribed yet. If you could, please click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. What this channel is really about is pure gaming news, game reviews, and a voice for the community's wishlist of what we want in future titles of upcoming video games. I try to upload at least one time a week, so if you want to be notified when a new video goes live, hit that small little bell icon down below. All that being said, kick back, relax, and enjoy today's show. For the longest time, it seemed like a new skate game was nothing but a pipe dream, but EA pleased fans when it announced Skate 4 at EA Play 2020, and now the company has revealed who exactly is developing this long-awaited sequel. EA has announced that its new studio, Full Circle, is working on Skate 4. Based in Vancouver, Full Circle is headed up by former head of Xbox Live. Daniel McCulloch. Daniel states that it's coming together to create rad experiences and redefine the way gamers create content that can be shared with the skate community. He further states that the fans wish skate back into existence and we want them involved in the process from development to game launch and beyond. We want them to feel like they are part of Full Circle, said Daniel GM of Full Circle. We're all about having fun and making great Great games that people want to play with their friends, and we're looking for more developers to help us build compelling worlds for players to explore. But this isn't necessarily a brand new team. Full Circle sees the return of the Skate series creative leadership Darren Chung and Cuz Perry, who worked on previous three games within the franchise of Skate. We're so stoked to be working on Skate, the pair said. Some would say things have come full circle. Ha ha, dad jokes. Ha ha ha. The first three games in the Skate series were initially developed by EA Black Box, with the last game in the franchise, Skate 3, released in 2010. However, fans have been eagerly awaiting a new addition to the series, with many taking to social media to beg EA for a new entry within the series. In 2016, there was even a campaign by Skateboard Park, the barracks called Make EA Skate Again. Finally, after a decade of waiting, in 2020, EA officially confirmed Skate 4, with Perry telling fans in the announcement video that they had commented this into existence. <laughs> All the dad jokes over there at Full Circle Studios, guys. Members of the original team officially on board were hoping that the wait and campaign was well worth the wait. I'd like to express my gratitude to my supporters and patrons. If you want to become a member today, that'd be absolutely fantastic. The link is down in the description below, but here's a special thanks to LJK1232. If you enjoyed today's show, please make sure to subscribe because 91.6% of you are not subscribed yet, and I'd really love to see you around the channel more often. How stoked are you, bro, about Skate 4? Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that tiny little itty bitty bell icon and get notified once a week when a new video goes live. Stay tuned for another nuclear new segment. I really do hope all of you enjoyed your time with me, as I always do with you, your host, Atomic Dudman, and until next time. <laughs>